lower school garden. We're just showing you around so you see what it looks like now. And then again in the summer, we'll do another one so you can see how it's going. And when the kids get back, they'll be really excited to see the changes. And I have with me my good friend, Moshe Nadell, who's planting an apple seed today. Here, Moshe, you want to do the last one? Here you go. And then what are we going to do? You're going to dig a little spot. And he's right next to a, a nice cherry tomato plant. We should have a lot of tomatoes, hopefully. Everything's coming in. And then we're going to water it, Moshe, okay? So don't go anywhere. And behind, in front of me rather, is the corn, the two varieties. I'm hoping, I think there will be a lot of corn, actually. And I'm just going to show you the rest of it, probably. These are kind of random things, but over here is a butterfly garden. And I'm really hoping these little guys down here will grow really tall by the time the kids come back. And they'll get to see the changes. And they, the kids planted all this before they left. And these are cucumbers. And we have some baby cucumbers. The kids want to see one. You can get down low, you can see it. It's just starting to come in. And then this whole section are different kinds of tomatoes. Some are going to be really large and some medium. Some are great for salad, some are better for tomato sauce. These are all flowers behind you, Tara. And we have one lily that just opened. Right over there, looks like a trumpet. And in another probably four or five days, it'll be covered with blooms. We have more tomatoes, and in the middle are radishes. And here are carrots and peppers on this side, on this bed. And lastly, I planted a lot of tomato plants because I know everybody loves that and they're really good homegrown. So we have that here with lettuce in the middle. And, and moving along behind you are the spices, the herb, we have basil, coriander, rosemary, oregano. And the kids love to taste that. And over there, just a couple sunflower seed plants. They're very small now, but they should be really tall when they get back. Yes, that one right there. I planted them a little late. That's why they're not bigger. And the rest of it is the chives and the um, mint the kids are very familiar with that they come in all the time eating that so that's pretty much it and i'm hoping uh in july we'll update it and you'll see the corn will be up to here probably it'll be fun to see that and that's it i hope you enjoyed the video <laughs>